So the lifestyle is what we're talking about. It's a way of life. In yoga, we say sanatana dharma, the natural way of living that takes you to liberation. That's the sanatana dharma. I've written, and I call it the six foundations, sevenfold peace. I'm just going to run through that for a moment. Uh, first, uh, the 100% vegan, 80% minimum life food diet, fasting for seven days, twice a year, uh, building the prana, the yoga, tai chi, qigong, things like that. Um, that's the second. Third is service and charity. Fourth is meditating, working with uh, groups, uh, spiritual teachers. Fifth is meditating and prayer. And six is as much shaktipat as possible. That's the descent of uh, the spiritual energy to awaken your spiritual energy. That's what we talk about. We'll, we'll be doing that at 7 in the morning. And tonight at Shabbat, which starts at 4.30 in the, where we're doing it, uh, just in the room around the hall there, uh, where we did yoga this morning, uh, we'll also have Shakti Bhatt. So that's important. Now, the seven, uh, the sixfold piece and the six foundation and the sevenfold piece, sorry, uh, is similar but not quite the same. So it is peace with the body, which we've talked about, peace with the mind, with meditation, and includes peace with the family. So family relationships are very, very important. Now, it doesn't mean everybody has to be perfectly buddies. You have to have the right relationship uh, with your family, whether it's distant or close, that brings peace. That's the key. Uh, clearly, it talks about relationship as the spiritual path as well. The, th uh, the fourth is a peace with the community. Again, community is very agitated in the United States today. What would peace be? Well, peace has the right relationship, so however you're relating to it, you're at peace. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? It's a subtlety there. You're just at peace. What it, you've picked a position with the chaos to, it's not bothering you, okay? It still doesn't mean you can't be active, doesn't mean you don't do charity, it's not what it, okay? And then peace with all the cultures, Native American, we talk about the rock people, living earth, the plant world, the animal world, and the human world, and all the cultures there. And then sacred ecology, and then peace with God. So we have the sevenfold peace, six foundations. And that's the way of life that we're talking about here uh, in, in the big picture. Uh, and... <laughs> Time and nature is actually a, a key, a key thing. Um, even if it's a few minutes, I, mean, well, I, I live in the country up in the mountains, okay, so it's like I'm always in nature. It's very, very, very healthy, you know, vitamin N, nature. So even if you're in Manhattan, you have got Central Park, you got park, get in the park, okay? You know, be safe and all that, but, you know, walk in nature. It's, it's really important to consider in the bigger picture, okay? So time in nature is very important. And finally, we have the idea of, again, community. The people who live in community do live longer and are happier and have more support. So you see the community there. Um, and those are really the, the key kind of things you want to want to look at. Uh, sexuality is important, balanced, uh, and the, the bottom line is pick a supportive community. Pick a spiritually supportive community. That's Im important. I said a little bit with that for women, don't worry, uh, be happy. For men, worry a little bit. Okay? So those are the, the keys to this whole picture. I'm going to have time for questions and answers. Um, I'm actually just noting, I closed my practice. Now it's me, I'm in a situation where, uh, at least for the next half year, I'm 
opening my practice to see people and, you know, really get the, into the details of this way of life. I can do it over the phone, although I like one time in, 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 one time in person. If you get on the mailing list, you'll kind of see what's going on. I'm giving teachings every single day out on Facebook. Uh, if you get the mailing list, you'll kind of get where that is. We're doing just a, a lot of my focus is outward, both spiritual and nutritional teachings. I just spoke about heart care the other day. Um, and so all that's happening, and that's kind of what we're doing. The Tree of Life Foundation is the focus, and again, we're doing this work all over the world, but um, I am in the interim, as this is setting up, going to take new patients for about probably six more months. Okay, so we have a few minutes for questions. Uh, any questions? Uh, not when you're going to sleep. Just waking up, you know. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, men with prostate or uh, different things, you may be getting up more at night with age. But you know, you want to kind of work on the prostate areas, and uh, the ideal is still not to be getting up at night. So oh, um, when you take Thank a you. bath or you bathe in the water, does that go into your system? And does yes. that affect your body to yes. toxicity? The, the issue we face, showers are better than a bath. I kind of stay out of the oceans and seas and all that. People who can afford it, you can get like a whole filter system for your house. You know, it doesn't, it, we're not talking about 99 but we are talking about eliminating a lot of the toxins that are in the water. That's the optimal. Hi. You touched briefly on the mitochondria. Where can I find more information about that? Um, I'm gonna, we're going to probably bring it up tonight, but I will give you some key information. Because it's an important question, so I'm glad you asked it. So, longevity is connected to mitochondrial life. Uh, the average uh, brain cell has about 5,000 mitochondria per cell. The average heart uh, cell has about 3,500 mitochondria. I am seeing some people that are 200 mitochondria in the brain and, and, and 200 in their heart. What does that mean? Mitochondria are the energy factories of the cell and really of your whole body. When your mitochondria are depleted from toxicity, viral infections, and so forth, you tend to have low energy, and uh, your mind isn't as clear, your ability to protect yourself, in a sense, preventatively against all the oncoming uh, energ energetic onslaughts, like 5G, is diminished. I have seen a variety of people who, you know, come extremely depleted. And I'm able to check the mitochondria, and I have certain supplements. I have a whole list of supplements, which I'm probably going to share tonight. But there's three key supplements that tend to significantly increase the mitochondria per cell, which is what we're talking about. Healthy mitochondria per cell. One is iodine in the form of aluminine. One is D-ribose. Okay, those are two bi big things. And then there's another one. Uh, it's a combination of CoQ10, PQQ, which is very good for the heart, but is super for increasing mitochondria. Those are the three big players. There's lots of other ones, but in all the research I've done, and uh, both clinical research as well, I'm building up, you know, you got to get sleep, you got to do this, all the things. But once you're depleted, it's a problem. And our society and all the toxins are depleting our mitochondria function. So most people I see are, you know, 
maybe 500, 700 per cell. I, I, I like to get people up to close to 5,000 for the brain cells and 3,500 for the heart cells. So they are the key to your uh, vitality. One of the big uh, things that destroy the mitochondria, which again are the energy factors in the cell, are free radicals. So what we're seeing when we think about 5G at a deeper level is it's creating a tremendous amount of free radicals that literally destroy your mitochondria so your mind isn't working as well. You got, uh, you know, with uh, 5G, you, you, you have a significantly increased amount of mental disorders, uh, uh, depression, suicide, um, anxiety. Those are all result, they're all connected with lower mitochondria, so the cells aren't working appropriately, so there's lack of harmony. Does that give people kind of an overview? It's really a very important topic, and uh, everything I'm talking about builds your mitochondria. Everything you heard with this is mitochondria, but there, as I say, those three particular nutrients, we do have them obviously at the tree because I've done all the research on it. Um, and so uh, the CoQ10, PQQ, the aluminine, uh, we've seen amazing brain regeneration, but iodine isn't, people think, oh, it's for your thyroid. Well, yeah, but actually, it's for your brain. Research shows literally within four months, kids in, in, um, in Indonesia taking uh, iodine increase their IQ in four months, eight points. Mothers who have adequate iodine, their children have a 13 point high, babies, 13 point higher IQ. It regenerates and builds the brain mitochondria, therefore the brain cells. Uh, iodine also helps your um, ovaries, it helps your uh, adrenals, helps your pancreas, obviously helps your thyroid, helps your skin, um, and is a major player for heart health as well. But as I'm researching and thinking it through, which is what I do, we, there, what's happening is iodine's activating the mitochondria in all those regions. So one of the newer things coming out, I would think, uh, is how do we take care of our mitochondria? One is minimize antioxidant, uh, you know, free radical attacks. And I would also say number four in that is adding a whole bunch of antioxidants. One of the newer ones, not that new, is um, astaxanthin. It's a super duper antioxidant, uh, and it's 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 vegan. So, anyway, those are I, I think keys to understanding it. Does that answer your question? Pretty much. Glad you asked it. I have trouble spelling it. Xantha. Well, Asta, A-S-T-A, xanthin, X-A-N-T-H-I-N. Now, you can get that stuff at the tree. I'm not here to promote supplements, but obviously I've done the research, and then I go look to see where is the best one. You know, I don't have a particular co company. I just, like, do the best, do the research, check them all out, see what's going to be best. That's how I go about it. Yes? So, no, thank you. So I appreciate what you're saying. If people want to do stuff against 5G, which is really important not to just let it happen, there's a large demonstration tomorrow all over the country. It's 5G day, right? Yes, and it's at 2.30 uh, in the afternoon on the steps of the main public library in New York City at 42nd Street. So you could zip in there and then come right back out. But it's really important. Thank you. Um, I, I just want you to know, I'm working fairly closely with 5G, and there are some legal uh, things, liens, that uh, they're just perfecting. It's not quite public, but I, I think within the next month or two, that uh, people can use these as ways to shutting down the 5G companies. It is really an attack on humanity on multiple levels. It has almost nothing to do with, oh yeah, you can download things faster. It's a military uh, equipment type thing. It affects your mind and uh, literally has been used for mind control for at least 20 years. So there's nothing new about that, but it's, uh, we will be talking about it. Um, it's a big deal.
I'm not really an expert on that, but it's better to breathe through your nose. Because your nose filters the air, whereas your mouth, it goes right into your lungs. Okay, a few more minutes. Go ahead. I know you said... I know you said something about goji berries was very beneficial. Are you familiar with Dr. Gundry? He's a very, very um, pronounced speaker on uh, YouTube. And yes. Um, yes, yes. he talks about that he avoids um, Lugans, Lugans that uh, he, he doesn't really prefer goji berries. But let me take a question that's actually a little bit more broader. Wait, wait. Ask the question. And hold the microphone a little bit away from your mouth, please. Uh, what do you think about applied kinesiology or muscle testing to figure out what exactly does each individual body needs? Um, I think it's very good. Let's get clear. Nothing is 100%. Um, there's electronic testing. There's uh, different levels of applied kinesiology. There's blood test testing. Everything runs about, at best, 85%. And it's in that range. It could be pretty active, depending on the person who knows how to test. And it's very helpful, because you can use it on yourself or have a friend do it for you. But the point is, it's, it's up there at, at, at high percentage of accuracy. Any other questions? Yeah. It's kind of the... Lights make it hard to see out there. One of the points that you made were, <clears throat> one of the bullets that you uh, discussed on the board were setting realistic goals and knowing your limitations. Now, for someone with a low self-esteem or that, you know, has trauma issues or depression, how do you discern whether you're setting a realistic goal or... You know, like, how, how do you figure out where... It's an excellent question. Um, it's a really valid and, excellent and important question. This is where group support comes in. And if, if you aren't really trusting yourself, which is for a lot of people the case, being in a supportive group where they can give you external feedback is a very, very helpful way. Or having a teacher, you know, that you trust. So having a group that you trust, helping you access, you know, what's realistic for you is a very good way to go about that for, for the, the situation you're talking about. That's one of the advantages of the of group and group process. Okay, go ahead out there. Okay, hi. <laughs> anyway, when, when you've been away a lot in eating, you get out of balance. And you mentioned that you took s some herbs and, you, and that helped. What herbs did you take? Well, those are particular. The point is, um, you know, when you're traveling and just the act of traveling has an energetic effect. So I took herbs that supported my uh, pancreas function. Okay, yeah, because I travel a lot also, so some, I understand that when you're, you don't always have the best choices, so as far as food. Well, it wasn't about food, actually, because if okay. I, in my way of doing things, if it's not right, I just don't have to eat. I don't have a problem doing that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I've gone five days without food and water without, no problem. Wow. But, so it's not that option, it's just that the, Basically, trauma of airplanes and mm. that kind of thing, not those kind of things. Okay. But I look at things, but in my case, I just saw the blood sugar. It's one of my things. I'm monitoring everything. One of my things is the blood sugar needs to be 85 or less. Yes. So if it isn't, I'm going to do what I need to do to fix that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we have two minutes. Any other? Okay, there's somebody waving their hand. Hi. Um, 
Regarding maintaining your check, like continually checking levels of stuff, are there any tests that you know of that are valid for checking like your levels of vitamins and minerals? Well, the thing is, we're not average people. We're unique. So really individual testing is going to give you your most accurate statement about that. There are ranges, but those can be a lot. Like take vitamin D, which really helps support mitochondrial function. Most people don't realize that. But it could be, they say 400, but I, a lot of people need 10,000. There is a big difference. So we need to do more individual testing rather than I think you're, you're an average. That's the key. So it's getting time to stop, and I, I just uh, want to say at 4.30, we'll, we'll be having a Shabbat or Shaktipat around the corner there where we did the, uh, at the yoga room. Yoga will be here in the morning, starting at 7 for meditation, yoga at 7.30. Um, and those are like the two announcements. Oh, third is I will be teaching Monday morning as well. Okay, so it's good. Uh, I leave Monday. Actually, it's my daughter's birthday on Monday, so, and she lives in Lower East Side, so I'm going to get to have a, a birthday party with her. So it was good. So I bless all of you that uh, you're inspired to kind of look at all these factors in your life, the six foundations, the sevenfold peace, and bring your lives to an ever higher level of joy and love and spirit. Shalom, shalom.